Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives, uh, still on engineering science and two. Uh, in this platform, we are going to consider the question on number four, which is on work, power, and efficiency. So uh, we are not going to waste much time. Quickly rush through the uh, through the questions uh, from the November uh, 2022 question paper, where we are given 4.1, uh, that is to define the SI unit uh, jaw. So what is the SI unit for jaw? What we refer to as a jaw. So this is actually represented as uh, this is the work. So that's uh, the work done. So you can define this as the work done. Uh, the work done when a force, all right, when a force of one Newton is applied, all right, is applied over one meter distance, over one meter distance, okay, uh, in the direction of force, that is in the direction of force, all right. So as you can see, we have got force times what? Force times distance, which is uh, actually uh, the formula for it done. Okay. On 4.2, we are now given that there is a chain, okay, that is 50 meters long. Okay, take note, guys. This is a chain that is 50 meters long, all right, with a weight of 160 Newton per meter, okay? We will be wound along around a drum that is 50 meters above the ground. Draw on 4.21, we are asked to draw the force uh, distance graph for the chain. Take note, it's for the chain. We are considering the chain. Take note, guys, our complete diagram consisting of the drum and everything, we are supposed to have uh, something of this nature in this case, okay? We're supposed to have something of this nature. But this whole part above, it represents the chain. Remember, that's where we have the weight of the chain uh, per meter, that is the force per meter and also the distance. So we are simply, we simply need this part, which is above, that is the part that you simply need, all right? So what is going to happen is that Remember, we are given that this is taken for 50 meters. So uh, like I said, we are going to take that part above. That is the part that represents the chain, okay? So, okay, let me just try to put up the ruler and some, but I just wanted to, to show you a sketch of what it is going to look like, right? But anyways, this is what we have here. So we're gonna have, uh, on top, the, the one that is down here, then um, on top, yeah. So like I said, we are simply working with the chain only. We are not working with any other apparel or any other part of the, of the drum, okay? So this is just our chain. So our chain is going to be affected uh, from these points here. So that is what our diagram is going to look like. Okay, so in this case, I'm just showing you a sketch of what your diagram was supposed to look like at this point. Uh, that's where we have got uh, the weight of the chain, okay? So from this point, this will be the zero point, and this will be the total, which is we are given that this is 160 uh, Newton per meter. So take note, that's 160 Newton per meter, and we are given that for 50 meters. So the total, uh, force that you are going to have for, for the chain, we are going to have our weight as uh, 160 Newton per meter. Uh, that is 160 Newton per meter times the number of meters, which is 50 meters. So if you multiply 160 by 50, we are going to obtain 8,000 Newton in this case. So at this point, this is at 8,000 Newton. Okay, so this is our force here. Then the distance, we are given that of the drum that we are working with. Remember, we are not taking the part of the drum, but we just need the distance, which is 50 meters. So here, we have got a distance of 50 meters from this point to this point, that's a 50. Okay, so that was 
uh, the diagram, what we just needed, not, 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 nothing else, just this part, guys, we are done. So uh, they wanted to trick you very, very much on this one. They wanted to trick you very, very much. Okay, uh, 4.22, calculate the work done to wound the 50 meter chain onto the drum. Okay, so you know that work done is simply the area uh, under the graph. So we are talking about the, uh, the area of the chain in this case, okay? So this is our chain. So this is 4.21, 4.22 and so on. Is that so? That's so, yes, 4.2. So that's 4.21, the first one was 4.21, all right? Then we move on to 4.22, all right? So on 4.22, the work done is simply uh, going to be the area, okay? So that's equivalent to the area under the graph, which is the area of a triangle. That's a right angle triangle, which is our base times the perpendicular height. All right. So in this case, we have got uh, a base from our mathematics, guys. We see that it's a right angle triangle, and we can take our base as from this point to this point, which is 50. So it's half of 50 times from this point to this point, which is 8,000. All right, so that's you guys and your calculator. You must uh, multiply properly here. Uh, that will be something like 200,000, okay? So you're going to obtain 200,000 joules, okay? Or you can write in kilo, which can be 200 kilojoules. Remember, the three zeros represents kilo there. All right, so that was 4.23, uh, 4. 2, 2. Okay, 4.23. Now calculate the power required to pull the full length of the chain. Okay, take note we are referring to the full length of the chain in uh, two minutes. That will take two minutes. Take note the full length of the chain is at 50 meters, and that's where we have the work done. So we are going to use the work done for this 50 meters versus the time that we are given to calculate the power. Remember, power given work done is equivalent to the work done over the time taken. That gives you the total power, okay? So that is going to be 4.23. Um, 4 so on 4.23, power is equivalent to the work done over the time taken, whereby this is our work done in joules as it is, then the time in seconds. So we are going to write this in joules, not kilojoules, okay? You can convert your answer to kilowatts, but you write the kilojoules as it is, that is 200 joules uh, divided by the time. Take note, on our time, we are given that it is going to complete in two minutes. So you convert minutes to second, knowing that in a minute, we have got 60 seconds. So to convert two minutes to seconds, we multiply by 60, because we know that in a minute, we have got 60 seconds. So that means two minutes, we are going to simply multiply two over one times 60. All right, so that is going to be the power uh, that is required. Okay, so simplifying this properly on our calculator, we are going to have something like one, six, uh, six, six, okay, comma, six, six, and so on, which is going to round off and this is going to change to seven uh, watts. Okay, so you can convert because we are not told to answer this in watts or kilowatts. So you can just even convert this to kilowatts if you want. Okay, so if you want to convert to kilowatts, uh, this is going to be one, two, three, which is 1,667 uh, kilowatts. That's if you want to convert to, uh, to kilowatts in this case. Okay, so that was question 4.23. Okay, as we can see, it was uh, pretty clear, uh, having two marks. And on 4.3, we are now given to calculate the diameter. Take note, this is the diameter if um, of a pulley. So we're given to calculate the diameter of a pulley. If an effective force of 130 Newton is exacted, uh, sorry, exact a torque of 10,5 Newton per meter. Guys, this is uh, straightforward here. We are given a torque and we need to calculate the diameter. We know that very much that the torque here is a product of the force times the radius. That's force in Newton times the distance, which is the radius in meters. That's why it's Newton per Newton meter. So we can use that advantage since we know that we have got our 
Toki in this case, so we can use that as an advantage, all right? So that's 4.3. We know that our torque in this case is equivalent to the force times the radius. Take note, we are given the effective force, which is 130 Newton, and we are given the torque in this case of 10,5 Newton meter. So we can calculate the radius, which is the distance in this case, that's our radius, okay? So dividing by force, force size, dividing by force, force size, we can have our radius, which is equivalent to the torque over the force. We are given a torque in this case of 10,5 uh, Newton meter over the force of 130 Newton. So this can cancel so that our answer is going to be in meters. Okay, so we shall have our radius, if we divide properly, is going to be 0 0,8, 0 0,081. So that's 0 0,81 in meters. Okay, so we have it as the radius. And the question is to calculate the diameter, not the radius. And we know this relationship that the diameter is equivalent to two radius. The radius, that's radius plus radius, okay? That's two times one radius. So to find the total diameter, we simply have to multiply two times the radius, which is 0 0,081 meters. This is going to give us uh, the total uh, diameter in this case. That's our diameter is going to be 0 0,162 in meters. Okay, so that's our equivalent diameter in this case. Uh, so take note, be very, very, uh, be very, very careful on your calculations, substitution in, into the formula and the steps that you're going to take. Okay, so that was the question on work power and efficiency from the question paper of November 2022 uh, from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.